At Smithall School, we are rebranding homework as independent practice. Independent practice doesn't always need to be completed at home. Many students may not have the structures or space at home to be able to complete their work. We have created the right spaces at school to provide support before, during and after school. For example, we have the Hive, the Curriculum Hub and our Session Zero Time. This is a big change of culture and it links to our school values of independence, community and excellence. We carried out a parent voice in uh, June and July of uh, last academic term and we had 117 responses from parents. Uh, the majority of parents uh, see the value of homework. Uh, they also uh, feel that there needs to be a consistent approach to homework being set in Smithall School. Uh, and the vast majority want to know when their child gets homework. Subject leaders have detailed the types of independent practice that they will be setting across all year groups, which you can see from this table. Uh, the main foci for our independent practice at Smithall School are retrieval, reading and research. We're calling it the three R's. At Key Stage 3, we have put together a timetable for when independent practice will be set. English, Maths and Science will have independent practice every week, green and orange, whereas Geography and History and RE and Citizenship and MFL will be on alternative weeks. Computing will be set every four weeks. Art, Design, Technology, Food Technology, Drama, Dance, Music and PE will be per topic or per half term. This may include video clips to watch on how to serve a shuttlecock in badminton or it may be a recipe to follow in food technology. It could also be a video clip uh, from the BBC Good Food Guide. The majority of our independent practice will be self-marking, so it'll either be on online platforms or there will be time given in lessons to self-assess. And this all links to our new behaviour for learning policy. At Key Stage 4, the timetables are shown. Again, independent practice is set on the Monday and is due by the Friday of each week. Maths, English and Science will have independent practice every week. How will independent practice be recorded by pupils? All independent practice will be recorded in the pupil planners which have been given out in the first week of term. If work is set on Microsoft Teams or another online package, it will be recorded in planners by indicating the package that is used. How will teachers track incomplete or missing independent practice? Well, the deadline for independent practice is Friday. If the teaching staff do not see the pupils on the Friday, then it will be logged on the first lesson the week after. If independent practice is incomplete by the deadline, pupils will lose one value point for no IP. Slight extensions may be offered to regain that value point. Value points may also be given for good standards of independent practice. Further detail on independent practice. Pupils have received information in session zero during the first week of the new term. Pupils will receive dedicated assemblies on the power of independent practice which will take place on the week beginning the 26th of September. Teaching staff are being asked to remove an achievement point for incomplete independent practice. C2s will not be given by teaching staff until a review on independent practice has been carried out at the end of October. Any issues or feedback, please contact school 